Celebrity, true or false? You can't handle the truth. Okay, very good. That's our drop. Uh, with Edward Norton, first one up. You took soap making classes with Brad Pitt during the filming of Fight Club. Is that true? Tr- that is true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is what is a class like that look like? What is it? experience to take a soap making class with Brad Pitt like um in in the it, it's sort of like probably something that would run on goop now <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. it, it was very it was me and Brad and a couple of um uh, people who are artisanal soap okay. makers um and we had a blast okay it was great and um did you can you still make stuff from soap it's not basically? that complicated okay. uh uh it's um it's slightly more complicated than making cookies. You can burn yourself with the lye, so you have to wear gloves and careful. be careful. Okay. Um, and there's, you know, there's vegetable-based soaps, and then there's ones that still use like. So it's like fats riding a bike and, here. I mean, like yeah, my no. gosh, years later, it's like you. Yeah, no, it was. It was um, okay. We 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 did we we would do our soap making and then go over for our Muay Thai uh, classes. <laughs> In succession, like yeah. one after another. Yeah, with sometimes still with the, you know, with the, actually the glycerin, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's interesting to, to uh, when you're grappling later and, and uh, sure, I love it. You can't do the jujitsu hold because of the, the glycerin. So it's not like Fight Club. You can talk about soap making <clears throat> classes pretty yeah. much years mm-hmm. later. Okay, very mm-hmm. good. Uh, next up, uh, you played in the World Series of Poker with Matt Damon to prep for the role of Worm and Rounders. I we played in the World Series, Matt and I, not to prep. We after the shoot, the, the 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 we were done with the film. No kidding. Um, it was part of the run up promoting the film so we, that's, play, we played as part we played in the promotional run-up to the film coming out and so obviously the movie the movie studio fronted you the fee correct i believe i believe they did they yeah put up, they put i, I up believe the they did it, either they did or the tournament did because in that era like it was not sexy it was not like like they didn't have a lot of celebrities coming to play poker and matt and i weren't even like big celebrities per se we 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 were what they could get. <laughs> How, no, who no. lasted longer? You or Matt? Uh, you know what? We we both did okay, um, and we both had very. Dr- we we both played along well, mm-hmm. uh, and the coaching we'd gotten from Johnny Chan and Phil Helmuth and a lot of these other guys uh, stood us in good stead. And I I got some good cards and and won a few hands and um, everything. We both had very like dramatic exits. I. I actually played a Johnny Chan tip. I played pocket nines Mm -hmm. when I was on the button Uh and ended up with kind of, I bet it as though it was an ace king or something like that. I got a middle flop. I got a nine and a 10 and then I got a second 10. So I had, I had a pretty much unreadable full house. Yes. And I got beat by four tens. Get out of here. By a guy named Surindar Singh. He quadded tens against quad your tens boat? Quadded tens against an unreadable full house. And when I called, and f- I had more <sighs> chips than him, when I flipped the boat, yeah. the whole table exploded. They were like, he's going to take Surindar Singh out yeah. of the tournament. Yeah. And he flipped quad tens. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yep. It was it was incredible. I was going to say, do you remember the hand that oh, you I went remember out with? Every, but how I mean, could you not there's remember more that? details of it too? But but he said to me later, he goes, he goes, on ninety nine out of a hundred times, he goes, You would have not he could say I had no idea that you had that hand. I, I'm blown away. That and makes it said, worse, though, doesn't it? Yeah, worse. It? Uh, I still, when, when, as we're talking about it, yeah. we're talking about it, and I'm having the Saving Private Ryan <laughs> moment where everything goes silent again. Um, oh. And, you know, I was trying to play it off, what? but I just, you know, gut shot. When they talk about being gut shot, That's I was it. gut shot, That literally. is the definition. And Matt's wasn't that. Matt, Matt played, Matt went all in before the flop on Kings, Pocket Kings, right. against Doyle Brudson. Brunson had pocket aces, Matt had pocket kings, and nothing came up, and and he, and he got beat, you know, on a ace king. Right. I mean, flop roll out by Doyle Brunson, but that's pretty that's great. Doyle Brunson, pretty I great. Mean, to, so, wow. Yeah. Um, so we did okay. We yeah, did I was about okay. to say. So now yeah. you've got to make a rounders too, right? So you can get back in there and talk to Cobbleman and Levine. It's all with them. Well, you know, it's interesting that you say that because you know I was in an episode of Billions, Edward Norton, this past <laughs> year, so I know what it's like to read Cobbleman and Levine yeah. written lines. Yeah. So they're masters. They would. I. 
uh, everyone said, like you've said it. I think Matt Damon has said it. These guys have said it. So let's just get everyone together and do it. it right? Yeah, it's it's um you know so I the color of money is to me the greatest example of why it's worth waiting. Right? Yes. Like it's because it was a long time later. It was connected to the hustler, but there was like it had something to it because he was so much older, right? Yes. So I think that I actually think like people say, oh, will there be a fight club to this? We're all it's like, shut up. That's just an urban myth. That's ridiculous. But rounders, I don't think it, we're unserious about it. I just think it should be right. It should be they should be in a different phase of their life. And um, I think Worm obviously has to have been involved in the credit default swaps that led to the 2008 financial collapse or something like that. The big short yeah, meets, no, uh, no question. meets rounders too. Um, uh, or else he, he's been working for the GRU to get Trump elected. I don't know what, he's doing so but he has been, he has been, he has been in the game. In the fringes. That's all your true or false questions? Are, yeah, I mean, I've got one last one if you have time for it. Yeah. We've got it too. Last one is you developed your twang for your Oscar nominated performance in Primal Fear by watching the film The Coal Miner's Daughter. That's true. Yeah. I, 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 I um, my family, my, my people are originally from Eastern Kentucky, um, but, but the accent isn't really in our family anymore. Yeah. And, um, so I, uh, uh, Sissy Spacek and Tommy Lee Jones in that film yeah. are doing a really, really good kind of Appalachian um, uh, thing. And I thought that seemed uh, that seemed right. Like and that's a, how you a, picked it up. Yeah, like a, a poor little rube. You, you know? nailed it. Well, um, so I'm glad that. So most of these are true. Most of those are true, yeah. Okay. Um, that's odd. And since you like Reiner and Mel Brooks. I, I do. Like, my, favorite, my favorite note I ever got from a director... Mm -hmm. Was on Fight Club when I'm like I, we were I was doing one of the things like in wing tips in the underwear running away whatever it's sort of funny, but and anyway Fincher came over to me and he goes, a little less Jerry a little more Dean, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I know I that's it that's don't say anything else for the rest of the film all you have to do is say, Jerry Dean like little Jerry Dean little more Dean little less a Jerry. little less Jerry a little more Dean. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, and don't. But you know what that means, sure. right? Yeah, like just little, little bit more. A little more debonair. cool. Not yeah. quite so. Not, not, not quite so goofy. You not know so, what I mean? Yeah. Um, and uh, th that was kind of that became almost like the meter for that whole film. For more of the Rich Eisen show, tune to Audience Channel Two Thirty Nine on Directv for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen show app.